All right, so we're using the repeated subtraction and equal group strategy. So the repeated subtraction one takes a while, but is very easy to utilize. You just have to make sure that you're subtracting correctly. So we have 40 minus 4 is 36, 36 minus 4 is 32, and we just keep subtracting 4 until we get to 0. And so that means that there's no remainder since we got to zero, and now we're counting the groups of four. So I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten groups of four. So if I take 40 and I take out four, I would have ten groups of four. So that's ten of them. The other thing to do would be to make four equal groups and then to think you could count up to 40 until you don't have any more of the whole and then see how much is in each one so we could just count one two three four four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. And so I have a total of 10 in each group. When I decompose that 40 into those four equal groups, each group would have an equal amount 10, so the answer is 10. So I did the same thing with 24. So 24, I just kept subtracting 4, and I found that I had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 equal groups. And again, you have to be really careful and make sure that you're subtracting it correctly. And then if I made the 1, 2, 3, 4 groups, and I counted all the way up to 24, placing one in at a time, I had a total of 6 in my group. So now moving on to 67 um, divided by 4. So that one takes a lot longer with our subtraction. So again, the subtraction strategy is a good place to start, but it's not an efficient strategy. It takes a really long time. And then at the bottom here, if you did it correctly, you would have 7 subtract 4 is 3. Now if you try to do 3 subtract 4, you would get a negative number so we can't have a negative amount so what that three what's left over is our remainder so if i'm counting how many total i have i have one two three four groups five six seven eight nine ten groups eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen groups of four with a remainder of three. So what that means is that four times 16 is 64. And if I add three more to 64, I get that number 67. So that remainder has to be added on to those 16 groups of four. So if I was doing it with these four equal groups, instead of having to count one, two, three, all the way to 67, I can think of those multiples of four, right? Four times one, four times two, four times three, four times four, four times five, four times six, four times seven, four times eight, four times nine. And then if this is four times one, then four times 10 would be 40, right? And if this is 4 times 2, then 4 times 20 would be 80. So 67 would be right in the middle of that 40 and 80. So what I can do is I can put 10. I can start off by putting 10 into each group. So I think 10, 20, 30, 40. So I have 67, I've used up 40, and now what I have left over is 27. So now when I'm looking, 27 would be right between, would live between this 24 and this 28. 
So 4 times 6 is 24, and 4 times 7 is 28. So I can't put 7 into each group, but I could put 6 more into each group, and then I would have used 24, right? 6, 12, 18, 24. And so what I have left is 3, and I can't put them inside of here because I had 1, 2, 3, then this one wouldn't have 17. I'd have three groups of 17 and one group of 60. That's not an equal amount. So these three have to be our remainders. They don't fit in there, so this is our remainder, this three. So then I would have 16 inside of each group, three that didn't fit inside. So it would be 16 remainder 